vaccination should take place in every country. You've desecrated all of my work. You disrespected science. What the hell did you put in that vaccine? And when this vaccine fails, I'll be the scapegoat. We created a flu that sparked the demand for a vaccine that doesn't work. After everyone in the country is vaccinated. And the world. He'll have murdered millions. Nope, nope, you don't have it. We need to go now before that vaccine ships and more people die. Give a certain percentage of the population a fatal illness and you make sure it's genetic. See, that was the exciting part. You pass it down. So if you have children before you die. Becky, do you have children? How much evil do you have to do to do good? driven by the need to know what happens next. Do you want to know what happens next? Your father created a world-changing, not world-ending, a world-changing, world-improving omnivirus. And we have taken that virus and embedded it in the vaccine of the Stearns flu. I know it. I knew it. He created a panic, and now everybody's begging for the vaccine. No, no, no. D demanding it with all the entitlement of a first world country. Yes. And now we have exactly what we want. Hundreds of millions of Americans lining up, offering us their arms, and letting us give them our creation. I'm pretty sure when every vaccinated person starts dying, they'll trace it back to you, undetectable virus or not. You've all been very busy. You're all very sharp. Are you sure none of you would like to come and work for me? No? Better than dying a terrible, violent death. Then understand this. What we are doing is far bigger than death. Wait, this virus is not deadly. It looks pretty damn deadly. Tell me this. What have you done today to earn your place in this crowded world? Exactly. Everything I do is a cure for our current situation. Wait, how's it a cure if you're killing people? I told you it does not kill. That was the amazing epiphany we had. We didn't have to kill to accomplish our goal. Which is what? We intend to stop human reproduction for three generations. The busy, endless global assembly line of babies will grind to halt. You're sterilizing people? Uh-huh. In the first five years, we'll start to see major birth rate declines as teenagers vaccinated today hit their childbearing years. You're controlling the future of human civilization. Is that what they're calling it? It's a very nice euphemism for a species that has replicated like a contagion across the planet, killing all other species in its wake. Except things that are cute, like puppies or koalas. Pandas. Never in history has there been a creature begging for extinction more than the fucking panda. Except us. You hate people that much? On the contrary, I love people. The hell? Why would you? Doing what our government or citizenry is too spoiled or self-indulgent to do. We are saving ourselves from ourselves. Halting overpopulation. A hundred years ago, the global population was 1.7 billion. 2011, it reached... 7 billion. People live too long, die less often, fuck too much, shit out babies like... In 2050, they say it's gonna plateau. Mm -mm -mm. We'll blow past 11 billion and then slowly begin to... decline. But by then, it'll be too late to save an Earth that bears any resemblance to a world we actually want to live in. This planet... I love this planet. So I decided to take care of the problem. By injecting your virus into the veins of every human on it? Global warming, mass extinctions, food, water shortages... All these problems can be boiled down to one thing. Overpopulation. It's not as simple as that. But it is. At 1.7 billion, we can be as decadent, self-indulgent, and shitty as we want. At 10 billion, we have to live strategically. We have to live modestly. We have to live selflessly. And as you know, we're not that good at it. And you're beta testing it on Americans since we're the worst. 
If we don't do something now, right now, in a decade, our world will experience extraordinary privations. The war of all against all. Water. We'll go to war over water, and the people who will die first are the ones without power and money. And by then, we'll be fighting over a world that really isn't worth fighting for. You can't just decide people won't have babies because... I can, and I did. What about what this does to, to people, society? Salvation. We can form a new society. Home. Mm-hmm. The grand social experiment.